This is a great indoor outfit when you uh, want to look stylish at an event. It is not the best uh, walking outside in Los Angeles during the day outfit. I'm a pretty big NBA fan. I've been watching for as long as I can remember. I've loved the NBA since I was a kid. I grew up watching basketball. I feel like this is gonna be a really unique experience for me. I'm definitely like aware of the NBA. How can you not be? And I do like follow them kind of more related to their celebrity, not as much their actual game. I feel like an NBA player's style is very different from my style. I am definitely into fashion and into style. I think my style is pretty chill. I usually wear like a lot of black and dark blue and gray. One of my favorite players in the NBA, because he's just kind of wild to me, is James Harden. I think he is, for some reason, just hilarious. He's just very showy. Russell Westbrook, in particular, pulls off a lot of stuff that I just, I feel like that dude can make anything look dope. This is absolutely going to push me out of my comfort zone, which is why I think it's gonna be fun. This week, you're gonna be dressing as James Harden. Yes! Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, and D-Wade. Okay, I love it. All very fashionable guys. Today is day one. Today I'm supposed to dress like Kawhi Leonard. This should be the easiest of the days, I think. I looked up a bunch of photos of Kawhi and apparently all this dude wears is sweats. I think it's a bit tough for me, especially because he like isn't really, in my opinion, particularly fashionable. Kawhi, love you, but sorry, no. He is not a uh, complicated man fashion-wise. It kind of makes it harder because for the challenge, I still want to feel like I'm putting together some kind of specific outfit, not just like sweatpants and a sweatshirt. A couple things I noticed about Kawhi's style was that he wears a lot of muted colors, grays and blacks, and doesn't even really accessorize in any capacity. I also noticed that he wears socks, like visible socks. So I really thought it was important that I incorporated that into my outfit. The shoes Kawhi is wearing in the game right now. It's very difficult to see, but they're these shoes. So clearly I picked the perfect outfit today. I got these socks that I'm gonna wear today with it and we'll see if anybody notices that I'm dressed differently. I still think it'll look, you know, fashionable, but I think they'll be thrown off by the socks. Kawhi is uh, he's a New Balance guy, so I know the Reebok wouldn't fly. Uh, I guess the Nike stuff wouldn't either. But we got black puffy coat. We got the like same color blue sweatshirt. It's not a hoodie, but as close as I could do. Gray joggers, some light low tops. I feel like it's pretty close. The camera does not need to be on me right now. It needs to be on these socks. <laughs> That's because I'm a fun guy. You're okay. Those are very fun guy socks. Comfortable ones. It feels one. like you really went the extra mile considering it's the New Balance. Oh yeah, listen, here's what happened. I went to a New Balance event recently for Kawhi Leonard and I got a bunch of stuff that way. I did not actually. <laughs> Why are yeah. you still filming me while you're talking? Well, because I can't get over these Sucks. Do you think I look like any particular NBA player? Because of the wild colors, I'm gonna go for maybe Russell Westbrook. Okay. Possibly Kawhi. Okay. You guessed Kawhi, you're yeah. like the first person. There you go, I got it. I got okay. It. Honestly, you definitely killed it. So today's player is LeBron James, and I'm quickly realizing that my wardrobe does not have stuff that imitates an NBA player, so I might have to do some slight chopping. I actually had to purchase my first item, which was this hat, because it seems like LeBron wears um, hats like this. It's my first time wearing a big hat. I usually just do baseball hats or beanies. It's uh, it's different. It's a look. It's not one I feel great about on myself, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. I had a really hard time figuring out what I was gonna do because his style is very masculine. It's like straight out of GQ. LeBron and Kawhi are the two that I think I can do without buying anything. So yeah, I picked out this photo. My only concern is the shoes. I, he has like some pretty wild shoes on and I don't have anything that really looks like those. Okay, as you can see here, I have chosen a lot of different <laughs> earth tone type pieces. I don't have the exact same denim shirt, obviously, but this one's similar. It is a denim shirt, white shirt. These are like some black acid wash kind of jeans, as close as I can get and then some bronze. I feel pretty good about this. Someone helped me and I made this key adjustment by like tilting the hat back because before I had it like all the way on. I feel like that's not the cool way to wear it, but I actually found the real LeBron it's me. back here. Look at this. Wow. He definitely loves layers and hoodies. And I was actually thinking about doing something like this, but then it was like, I wear that all the time. Well, you know, listen, I am, um to channel the inner Akron, Ohio in me. Oh, wow. Do you think I look like an NBA player at all? Give me LeBron vibes with this. <laughs> is that LeBron? Nice. Is <laughs> I can see it. If you had to guess what NBA player I look like, do you have any idea uh, what outfit this is based on? Uh, Sean. 
Lynch. So your guess for the NBA player I'm dressed like today is Marshawn Lynch? Yeah, I don't really watch yeah, American sports. Marshawn Lynch. Oh, you don't? I just know the name. Interesting. Yeah. He's a big player, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's a, he's a big uh, retired running back in the NFL. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it really feels like I'm actually looking right at him. Look at this hat and this roll up of the socks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So today is Dwayne Wade Day. Was a huge fan of him throughout his entire career, not just on the court, but his fashion. He does a lot of like GQ and stuff. So uh, the dude really knows how to dress. I think this is like the sweet spot of where it's normal-ish clothing, but you're getting fancier with it. Dwayne Wade has a really cool style, really chic style, and he loves to coordinate. I did think of something that I haven't worn in years that's been in my closet. Um, and it's a, like a, a suit, like a khaki suit. I found a blazer and then put a plain tee under it because I saw that he does that a lot. And then I have some pants. They're a little high watery because he has a lot of exposed ankle, no socks. So uh, I have some no-show socks and some shoes. So it's like a blazer, but then also kind of casual. There's a photo of d -Way. I think it's like at the Met Gala or something. He's wearing this black suit with like a black hoodie. It's like simple, but it's elevated a little bit. He's got the hood situation. I already have some stuff to kind of do that. Do you like the blazer? Yeah, I think you look good, but you don't thank look you. as good as Dwayne Well, thank you. That's kind of a compliment and that's the best I'm gonna get from you. So appreciate that. <laughs> okay, initial thoughts on the uh, Dwayne Wade outfit is uh, it's very hot. This is a great indoor outfit when you uh, want to look stylish at an event. It is not the best uh, walking outside in Los Angeles during the day outfit. Okay, so today I meant to dress like Russell Westbrook. I was running super late this morning, so I put together an outfit. I feel pretty good about it. It's very extra. Russell Westbrook has amazing style, but he is so crazy. He always has one thing that like just doesn't belong. I feel like I just look like a dude in a uh, flannel with Honestly, cut off sleeves. you look kind of flat. I went for a like very that. specific look. For the base layer, we got this guy. This is not a shirt I would normally buy, but I actually super dig it, and I think it's a lot of fun. Boom, I got this guy. This has these sweet little rips in it, which I feel like is very Russ. So I already have these jeans, like a light acid wash kind of kind of vibe. I feel like this is very in line with that. What have people said about what you're wearing? You know what? They said I have drip. And yeah, it's a lot of drip. That, I really like this outfit on me, and I feel like that's amazing because I was pretty insecure wearing this out of the house, but I think like now I feel good. I have been getting a lot of compliments that feel like when your mom wants to make you feel good about yourself because your outfit's not that dope. I think it looks great. I actually think he has a lot more sauce when he wears it like this. Okay, obviously the first thing I'm gonna do in my uh, Westbrook outfit is do what I assume uh, he does when he gets dressed up like this, which is uh, go to the grocery store. I'm here shopping for groceries, looking cool as hell. It's James Harden day. As you can see, I got a shirt on. This is not typically the type of thing I would wear, both in size and in color. I decided to go and replicate his, this like orange and light blue look that I found. Um, he's actually wearing jeans in it, but I decided to kind of change it up. And I went with a bright orange dress, matching orange shoes. And then I'm wearing like a long, like overcoat that's made of light denim. This is another one that I definitely had to buy stuff for. But I kind of use this photo as inspiration. For me, it's like, I like that he had the same or similar pattern over a piece with the same pattern. It was like pattern on pattern. The Brennan version of it is I think I'm gonna go with black pants. So this is the top for James. It's a big, bold pattern. And then over that, I'm going, bam, floral jacket too. I think I'm gonna be looking stylish. Guys, so, what do you think of my outfit today? Scale one to 10. Like, Does it look any different from what, how you normally dress? Yeah, what? I say. That's what everyone said. I've when have you ever seen me wear something this baggy? I know which picture you were basing this off of, and you nailed it. And I'm kind of jealous because everyone just thinks I'm wearing a baggy shirt and dressed like normal. Do you follow the NBA at all? Yes. If you had to guess what NBA player I'm channeling oh, today, are you Russell Westbrook? Close. If not Russ, then who? James Harden. You Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, today. I mean, I can, I can see it. On a scale of one to ten, how would you, how would you rate my James Harden outfit? Like, are we talking about a scale of like how James Harden are you, or how yeah, well let's do you're that. dressed? <laughs> how James Harden am I? How James Harden are you? I will give you like a nine out of ten. Oh, okay. I'll how well you're dressed? Let's just say it's not a nine out of ten. Not a nine out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> I think it went really well. I know personally, I got a lot of reactions 
that were very positive and unexpected. It was definitely challenging. Like, I have not put this much thought into making an outfit in a very long time. This week was a lot of fun. I definitely wore a lot of stuff that I never would have worn uh, normally. I actually got like more compliments on these outfits than I have on like outfits that I actually wear, so maybe it was a good lesson. I didn't really realize that like I would feel stress about wearing something that I felt weird in. Like I thought it would just be funny and like on a lark. I'm surprised that I found a way to combine their style with mine in a way that most of the time I really liked. The biggest takeaway from this is I would highly recommend just like next time you go shopping, even if it's just like one item that is very different from what you normally wear, I highly recommend it. Even if only to get a reaction from your friends and see what they say to you, but I promise you it'll probably be positive.